share a little more on kind of what what your main focus is right now what is your business right let's hear that what's your business and what is your primary focus right now i know you was working on a on a project with your the the daughter that passed i know you had like a couple different projects if you can okay, touch on that a little bit yes and then yeah kind of like your your business model and then a little bit on the youtube and i recommend connecting with sebastian he recently started a youtube channel and he's growing mm -hmm. pretty he's growing faster than i grew when i first started yeah. my youtube channel I, he hit like over yeah, yeah. 1k subscribers in no time so he's clearly doing <laughs> things that i didn't know when i first started that he either picked up from my channel or other people's channels and so he'd be a good person to just you know reach out to uh and just discuss yeah. on that but in that order business model yeah, absolutely. legacy plan mm -hmm. the youtube what do you want to cover yeah all right so um by the way um sebastian you you and i have connected before so i do have your contact and congratulations on growing so much um uh first first thing is um um in in because of covid i had to go back into the corporate world so i've, I've been a mortgage underwriter for several years since 2002. Um, so I'm with Keller Mortgage. Um, they're connected with Keller Williams, humongous company, fantastic company. But what I realized was I'm spending way too much time, you know, like that, like that nine to five, where my my story and Kayla's legacy and her story isn't going to be told effectively if I continue down that path. So to pivot, um, one of the things that we did is we started working with Alex so that once we get that going and and you know his his target is right on point i wanted i wanted to be out of out of the the corporate world by the end of the year you know we started working on it i mean it looks like it's going to be right around the same you know trajectory and that'll help me to develop what i really want to do which is the third thing um i was working on a plan with kayla to to provide trust documents similar to what attorneys do but we have we actually use a, a software um with a estate plan uh navigator they're they're in they're out of tampa uh and basically what i do is i'm i'm, I'm the liaison right i'm i'm the let's just call it a coordinator instead of somebody you know paying seven thousand dollars to an attorney to create their their documents i give them the education we help them set up their documents but then from that, we're going to be able to go, you know, think about what's happening in all together. The information that we get from ICOVEST, the, the jurisdictional model, because what I'm teaching people is in a trust, you are privatizing your everything that you own. If you keep every you know, stuff out there, it's, a, it's in probate, um, probate law. You are bringing your trust into a contract law. So when when we're able to teach that the people that connect with us at the kingdom level will be able to 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 now pivot into all the other things that we do and and obviously they're you know uh, ICOVES is going to be basically our our educational model like you know now you now you're throwing in th you know real estate and all the other facets we're going to we're going to cover every aspect of the financial world is basically a financial network I love it and that's what you want to do the YouTube right so is that the type of material you want to put out. <laughs> that it, yeah it's it's gonna be and and i, I really want to go and meet with some um uh somebody who can help me develop my my copy because i know my story and i, I want to be able to tell that story but i want to be able to tell it effectively and the the focus is going to be with you know pivoting out of the corporate arena it would allow me to then monetize the legacy estate planning and be able to tell her story because her story is amazing. So what I really want to do, um, my niche is going to be um, grieving parents, anybody who's ever lost a child. And I, you know, the journey that I've had, I mean, you know, you and I had an opportunity to have your confidant, you know, it, you know, that person was amazing. Like, so that story and the trajectory and the journey that we've had to go through in grieving our daughter, that is going to be our ministry to um to the kingdom so obviously you know here you know oh, you may i may be able to take that you know that youtube channel plug it into whatever you got going on and and we just tell the world the message of you know there's hope there really is hope whenever yes. you go through something like this god god gives us the strength to go through everything oh dude you get me excited here because this would be an example of let me put myself on the screen here so finance geek ministry that's what is happening right here 
we're we're collaborating we're talking we're strategizing we're brainstorming ideas we're bringing things to the table and here will be an example of a ministry of a ministry let's just say mr ramos wants to collaborate and that's already in the books this is someone that i've met we've exchanged uh multiple calls with each other we're going to meet again in person so it's like that trust gets built along the way of me providing a service um, i'm alex providing a service so now gaining the the confidence to now build a a second ministry what's what's the focus what's the niche this finance geek ministry is a is a niche on finance his is a niche on grieving parents right so parents with loss right now within finance geek ministry there's a uh, community right and everyone that is here um you should have access if you don't let me know but my community is held on uh online on kajabi right and that community you'll see different it's like a private facebook group basically right now in addition to this private community i also have a facebook group and there's over 4,000 plus people in that group. So how awesome would it be if Mr. Ramos was able to leverage the community I have here, the Velocity Banking community I have here, um, the live streaming that I do, the fact that this material is being recorded and I chop it up, right? I put it into multiple videos. Well, there could be a whole video on just him explaining what does he do? What's the legacy plan? The YouTube channel he wants to start, I can have pop-ups. And so now people are seeing what he does, what he's niching on, and how it aligns with with everything else. It's it's complementing. We're both complementing each other. There's a mutual beneficial relationship in, in all of that. Um, and I think that's a, a powerful example of what could become. And it just takes time, takes patience, takes, you know, education and wisdom and prayer. Um, and, and yes, you mentioned, you know, those stories that have got to get heard, whether it's written in a book, a post, a picture, a video, a YouTube channel, that is how we're able to express, uh, uh the word, right. And express our experiences with the, the full backing and authority of, of God, the father. And we can authentically share what it is that we do. And, you know, now I'm getting in a position now where like I, I built the, the foundation, built the community where now others will also build their own communities, but also leveraging. And this is what I call community merging. We can merge different communities to, you know, have equal uh, benefits, right? And create a kingdom protocol of, of royalty, I would say, you know, so that 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 just came to my mind. I think something great and powerful can, can establish here. And what you was getting in, in, in the, in the trust part is that's commercial jurisdiction. And so again, we need both. We need to know how the ecclesiastical sovereignty jurisdiction and, and the laws work there. But then we also need to have our own individual, uh, family trust, business trust, uh, you know, the living wills to, to completely remove ourselves out of the um administrative codes and charges that our bodies are subject to we want to get to the the highest form of protection in commercial jurisdiction is common law and that's technically how our country uh operates but when you start looking at the different classes of of citizens that is not how it it works See, if you were operating in common law, you would not be paying taxes at this very moment, like none whatsoever, because you're now operating in a privatized environment where everything you do is, is not disclosed, right? So there's, there's the ultra, ultra wealthy do this. They establish their own, you know, economies, their own ecosystems that isn't subject to taxation. So we want to be able to do both, right? Establish the highest form of of human rights protections in commercial jurisdiction. And then as it relates to creating wealth, being able to move that wealth completely out of our names into kingdom where it can not only be protected by the world powers that we live in, you know, the super superpowers, United States being one of them, 
but also God the Father who who authorizes everything, who is author and, and man, um, uh, creator over everything, right? Uh, and ruler over it all. So talk about like taking things to the next level. That's what I see here. Um, and so you're, you're going to be a great addition uh, to this. And I'm so glad that you're, you're, you're making progress. And so I don't see another question. So like I said, someone has a question, 